Phil Woolery with Purdue Extension here giving an update on our seeds that we have started indoors. As you can see we have tomatoes coming up here and some peppers, we're still waiting on some to come up there, and some petunias and pansies. So <clears throat> it's been about two weeks since we sow sowed these and that first week we had some good germination especially in the in the tomatoes so I had to remove that plastic covering, greenhouse covering, um, to release some of that moisture. If you get too much moisture there, you can have problems with, with some diseases like damping off. So it's good to keep the, the foliage more dry. And if you remember, we, we, only, we tried to sow two seeds per, at least per, well, some of them I had three. Um, this one only had one come up. I had one come up in here, so uh, if I only sowed one, I might have had none in there. So at this stage, we want to thin it out. Um, thin out some of these so it's best to do it with a kind of scissors if you pull it out you could damage the root systems of your the plants you want to keep so usually pick about the best looking one there and just snip it off and there so you do that to all of them um, some things you're going to be thinking about keeping watch on with the, the top off you have to keep water, watering them you can tell these are getting kind of dry so I need to keep on top watering them you have to water more without that cover on it's a good idea for when watering to try and uh, not water the leaves as the moisture can help do disease and this handy little tray here I have I can just water below and it all suck up in, into the different pellets there might have to do if ones get extra dry like this one you can see it's pretty dry got a little extra water it all soaked up here's my setup with our grow lights uh, you'll notice it's a nice pink color this is an LED grow light with it has red and blue light um, and so it looks pink on there so the reason why we have that is the red and blues are the spectrum that is most absorbed by plants. That's why you see most plants are green because they reflect that green light. So with these LED lights, you're able to supply um, just the, the main light that they need for growth. So that's an advantage there. And you want to kind of keep them, the, the lights as close to them as possible. The farther the light away, the kind of more leggy these will get. They get leggy, they can get floppy. There, so that's one thing you want to try and do.